It's Mad Dog. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Good. <laughs> like you could respond right this second. Huh? Um. Anyway, so I'm getting a lot of uh, Facebook messages about the fight. A lot of mixed feelings about it. Typically, it seems like uh, most of them are saying that Pacquiao wasn't on his game and shit. But uh, I was going for Pac, man. I didn't get a chance to watch the fight because a fucking bus ride takes almost three hours just to get home and shit. Um, thanks to our wonderful transit system, which takes up half of my fucking day, every single day, every single route. Anyway, so, um, yeah, basically, from the interviews that I saw before the fight, uh, even came on when I was at work and I was watching it, basically... Mayweather was saying he don't care whether he wins, loses, or draws, man. Um, that anyway he's gonna get paid. So, in my opinion, from what a lot of people were saying, is that Pacquiao didn't seem like he was on his thing. I think that maybe the fight was set up. That's why most people don't like watching boxing anymore. They used to. There used to be more fans, um, but I think lately it's kind of dwindled down, uh, partially because of the MMA shit. You know what I mean? And the cage matches and whatnot. Um, you know what I mean? Mixed martial arts and all that. The octagon, just, you know, really grimy, beating the hell out of each other kind of fights. Um, you can't fake those. You can't, um, unless you're a really good actor, uh, or a fucking WWE wrestler, um, you can fake those, but, uh, you, you can't fake an MMA fight. You know what I'm saying? If you go in there... Uh, looking like you're setting the fight up and you kind of lay down into it and shit, that means, you know, it's going to be obvious. You won't be able to fucking defend yourself. If it was a um, boxing match, it's easy to put your guard down, let a couple hits get in there, and then fall down on a specific point in the fight. <laughs> now, I don't know about y'all, man, but I still think Pacquiao would have took him. That's just me. I don't know. Call it a... You know... Just love for the little Manny. You know, he's tight, man. He's a good fighter. He would have made it as far as he did in his, his career if it wasn't for the case for that. But... Um, oh, fuck. Hold on a second. Look at how gross this is. That's a human shit at a fucking bus stop. Don't we have people cleaning this up? As much money as they want to charge people for catching the fucking bus. There's a human shit right here at a fucking bus stop on 52nd in Sheridan. How disgusting is that, man? I'm sorry, man, but I don't. I can't even think about the fight now because I saw a fucking shit up against the wall at a fucking bus stop. Oh, my God. You know, I, I uh, have the 411 on the shitter, but this is fucking ridiculous. Holy crap. Alright, well, <laughs> I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> Alright, well, just hit me up, djrabies at gmail.com, and I will get back to you. Alright, peace.